Aztec is a powerful new search engine for bioinformatics tools. On the landing page, you'll see a prominent search bar where you can enter queries to find exactly the tools you're looking for. Clicking on the arrow will provide you with more detailed information about the service. Here you'll find an overview of the Aztec platform. In the next tab, you'll find statistics describing the tools indexed by Aztec. This graphic depicts the popular tags common to the many tools in Aztec. Clicking on one of these icons will take you to the search for that tag. This pie chart shows a breakdown of the sources of the various tools in Aztec. You can see that tools come from journals and PubMed, such as Bioinformatics, and are also aggregated from repositories and indexes, such as Bioconductor, Biocatalog, Galaxy, and the Elixir Tools and Data Services Registry. The next tab shows usage statistics. Here you'll see a plot of site traffic and a ranking of the most popular tools in Aztec. Now let's return to the search bar to make a query. Let's enter our query, RNA-seq. As we type, you'll notice that the autocomplete suggests both tools and tags that match our query. Here's the results page. In the leftmost column, you'll see a list of filters that we can use to refine our search. Let's select a language, C++. You'll see that the query results have updated, and the rightmost column, the language filter, is listed. We can add more filters if we wish, or remove them by clicking on the X. Let's take a look at one of these entries, Top Hat 2. You can see that the basic information about the tool is presented on the results page, but we can click on the name to learn more. On the tool page, you'll find all the critical information about the tool. Under the name, the authors are listed with their affiliations. To the right, we have licensing and usage requirements. If we are using this tool in our research, we can easily generate a citation by clicking the Cite button. Here you'll find the citation information, which we can export in a BibTeX format. In the tool description, terms found in MeSH subject headings are highlighted and link out to the appropriate page on Bioportal. Also listed are the software type, supported platforms, tool language, source code repository location, homepage URL, and the institution that created the tool. Further below, we have information on the primary publications for the tool. We can easily submit new tools to Aztec by clicking on the register resource button. You can see that I'm already signed into Aztec, otherwise I'd have to do so at this point. If you upload the PDF of a publication describing a tool, Aztec will automatically extract much of the required metadata. Here you can see many of the required fields are already filled out, including the name, description, authors, source code location, and tags. I can edit this information manually to correct any mistakes or add any missing information. For example, looking at the publication, I can see that this tool is created by researchers at Cambridge University, but looking here at institution, I can see that it's blank. If I start to type Cambridge, uh, the autocomplete provides me with possible universities. In addition to institutions, predefined vocabularies also exist for programming languages and funding sources. Once I'm happy with the way the metadata looks, I can submit the tool. And after a final review, I can complete the captcha and submit.